up? This is Lord Ship. How you doing? Long time no see. You know, I just wanted to talk to you. One on one. Just me and you. You know what I'm saying? One on one conversation. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody around. Look. Ain't nobody around. Just me and you. We got to change the game. We got an opportunity right now to blow this joint up. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is focus on doing something great. Everything else is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's just metaphors and words. Can't nobody kick your butt with words. Can't nobody harm you with words, especially if you're an adult. Can't nobody pull up on you unless they're in a vehicle <laughs> and you're outside you know, you're at a park or on a sidewalk. Unless I'm on a motorcycle or a bicycle or a car, I cannot pull up on you. There's no such thing as pulling up on someone on the internet, on YouTube. That's a, that's a metaphor that you chose to accept. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. You came for me. There's only two ways you could come for, some, for someone. And one of them is involving sex. You know what I'm saying? You came all the way over here to mess with me. All the way over where? You're on the internet. You're already in one place. You're on the world wide web. So there, if somebody else is on the world wide web, there is no over here or over there. Either you're public or you're not. I just want to speak my truth. My truth? What the, what the fuck? What do that mean, my truth? I ain't never... Speak your truth. She's... Shh, let her speak her truth. Let him... What the fuck is that? It's either the truth or the lie. It's either the truth or a lie. Let me know when Webster's Dictionary start adding some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, Webster's Dictionary, uh, I ain't talking about the Urban Dictionary, but uh, when Webster changes shit, let me know, okay? Speaking your truth. Look, soon as I hear that little code word, soon as I hear that little cult talk, that little trendy uh, club talk, you know, little, I don't know what you want to call it. Identity talk. Uh, I'm out. Soon as I hear somebody say, speak their truth, I'm speaking my truth, I'm out. I don't pay attention no more. You know what I'm saying? When they say overstand and all that shit, I'm out. That's just me. You can you can deal with that shit. That's con talk. You know what I'm saying? Did you know to be someone's best friend or a friend at all, you have to earn that shit. It, sometimes it takes years. Years, all right? But to call somebody your sister or your brother or my queen or some shit like that, there's nothing that you have to do to earn that. You could just say, you know, you're my brother, that's my sister. But it was no struggle. There was no ownership. There was nothing, there was no like journey or common uh, thing that you went through to earn that. It take a long time to have a friend or a best friend, but a motherfucker will walk up on you, my brother, 
You know what I'm saying? My brother, do, can I get a cigarette, brother? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, brother, you know, they, man, they've been fucking with us, man. The white man, man, brother. You got a couple of bucks, brother. I want to give me a beer, bro, man. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, when strangers who don't even know what each other look like hardly or don't know their real name is calling each other this and that just to get people's trust, step back from that shit. Because there's already a barrier between you. You don't know who you're dealing with until they're in your presence. I've had the opportunity to meet people online first and then meet them in person. And it was hella awkward, you know, but I made some money, but one person uh, was not nothing like she was on the internet. She, she came to be on the project and uh, she had split personality and all that shit, but she, she turned out to be cool, but she should have just told us, hey, you know, I just want to tell you this, you know, I got multiple personalities, but I have it under control and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not crazy. It's just something I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? People be afraid. I understand that. But like I said, all these, look out for those cult code words. All right. That means nothing. It's just a way of manipulating you and getting your trust. And that's how, that's how we stay on top as a country. It's our, it ain't the weapons. It ain't the nuclear bombs. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the, the napalm and the poisonous gas and the missiles and the machine guns. It's our language that keeps, that keeps us on top. It's our language because our language don't mean shit. That's why we keep fooling the enemy. In most countries, they may have 50 ways to say certain words, but when it comes down to yes and no, it's only yes or no. You know what I'm saying? In America, there's 50 million words in between yes and no. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, think about that. But this is just between me and you. I didn't want everybody in this conversation. So you, you stay over there. Don't come over here eavesdropping on my personal conversation with my people, okay? If you got me blocked, you shouldn't even be listening to this. This one is for me and my people, so you stay over there. Don't. Yo, man, I don't think they heard you. Why don't you tell them what your name is? <laughs>